So Kyle, it looks like our block is fully prepped. What's next? We get to yep. put the crank in? Block is ready to go. So next step is dropping the crank in. So what we have here, we've already final washed the crank. And uh, that's a key, key thing you have to focus on when building an engine is making sure everything is clean. Just because we got it back and it looked clean out of the box doesn't mean it is. Um, especially after it's been balanced, they've drilled holes in the crank. And so that creates chips and dirt and debris. And you need to make sure you get all that out of all the oil galley passages with, you know, a pipe cleaner kind of thing and uh, really scrubbing it clean. Cool. Why don't we get this thing in the block? Yeah. So we'll start out lubricating the uh, main journals with some assembly lube. Just using some cleavite here on a brush, just applying it a little liberally, just getting it on there. We'll also lubricate the uh, bearings themselves. So this is just extra insurance, making sure we're properly lubricated. Gently set it into place. And once it's in, you don't want to turn it. You just want to start installing the caps. So we got that down. And since we're using ARP studs, what we want to do is lubricate all of the threads to the bolt or the nuts. So that ensures that we are getting the proper torque on these threads. So now that we have them all uh, run down a little bit, what we're going to do is the thrust cap here, we're going to back off the nuts just a little bit, just so that there's no tension on them. And now we're going to go down and start incrementally torquing down the studs. Start in the middle here, turn this on. You start with the middle uh, studs and you work your way outwards. So we're just going to take it to 20 foot-pounds right now. Now that the inners are there, we'll work to the outer studs. Same thing, 20 foot-pounds. Just working from the middle, working our way out. Then we're going to go back to the center. 34, 35 foot-pounds is what we're after. Okay. Now we're going to go to our final torque on the uh, inner studs which is 60 foot-pounds, according to ARP specs. So we'll start with number two. Now we're switching to the outers. Final torque is 50 foot-pounds. Okay. Now you'll notice I left the center cap totally alone. These are still loose. I didn't want to tighten these down yet because we have to now adjust for our thrust. By setting our thrust, take a rubber mallet, hit the front of the crank, and what we're doing is aligning those two mating surfaces of the two bearing caps. So we're just gonna go. So now we can go ahead and torque these. Okay. So now that these are all torqued up, what we have to do now is do these side bolts. They actually bolt to the outside of the block. That means that you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of RVT silicone right on the shoulder of the bolt. And then you're going to run it in. So now we'll just final torque these to 20 foot pounds and be good. So now once we know everything has been torqued properly to spec, what we'll go through is torque stripe all of our nuts and fasteners to ensure, and it's a mental check, sanity check, if you will, that everything was done properly. So now if we did our job right, this will spin nice and freely, as it does. And you want to ensure, as you're spinning it, you don't feel a particular hard spot at any one point. Like it wants to, it should be nice and smooth around full 360 degree rotation. Okay, so now that we've installed the crank properly and everything's torqued down, we set our crankshaft end play, but what we want to do is double check to see what it actually is. And to do that, we set up a dial indicator here on a magnetic stand. We zero it out. And what we want to do is be able to spin this with that zero. And we want to be able to push the crank this way and that way. And you're actually checking the amount of movement that that crank can move, the end play. So if that moves, 
So we're right there to right there. So we're about six thou of crankshaft end play, end to end, which is exactly what we want. That's right in the range. What we're also going to check is the run out of the reluctor wheel. GM spec calls for about like 40 thousands run out, they allow, and that's how wobbly essentially that reluctor wheel is. We like to see a lot less than that. So right about there's the max. So about nine thousandths run out here of that reluctor wheel. So that's very good. That's definitely what we want to see. Crankshaft is good now. We can uh, move on to piston rings and uh, installing the pistons.